Today on Logan Lee Adventures, it's all about safaris and white lions in our final South African adventure. Yep, after a grand adventure in the southern part of this wonderful continent, it ends today. But not before we get up close and personal with wildlife. We are in Kruger National Park and Kruger National Park in South Africa is known for its abundance of wildlife. We are driving ourselves around for the safari. So safari is just basically a Swahili word that means journey and we've done other safaris before but I've never actually done a, I don't think I've done a self-drive, no I've actually been, I've never done a self-drive safari in South Africa before. So this is my first time in Kruger but this is Yuru's second time in Kruger and <laughs> and we're going to just go and hopefully see some cool wildlife. What you can't hear due to copyright reasons is that Yurun and I are actually singing songs from The Lion King. That has been our safari soundtrack. So just imagine right now, can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> Here's a fun fact, African bush elephants, these ones here, are the largest land animals in the world. Males can grow up to 13 feet tall at the shoulders, measuring up to 30 feet from the trunk to tail, and weighing up to 14,000 pounds. Can you imagine that? How many of me would equate to an elephant? Well, I, how much I've been eating, not that much. But perhaps that also explains why elephants are the only mammals that cannot jump. Why are you this so nice? <laughs> Like a horse's face. Look out. They open your mouth. No, open your mouth. Open it. No. They open it. No, no, face it this way. Yeah. No, face this way. Like, face straight. Oh. 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 Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Brian Jackman once said, Africa changes you forever. Like nowhere on earth. Once you've been there, you will never be the same. But how do you begin to describe its magic to someone who has never felt it? How can you explain the fascination of this vast, dusty continent whose oldest roads are elephant paths? Could it be because Africa is the place of all our beginnings, the cradle of mankind, where our species first stood upright on the savannas of long ago? Maybe that was what led Karen Blixen to say in Out of Africa, here I am, where I belong. Oh, yes, something like that. Right. It's right. right front leg. Is, uh, yeah. Is this like local plan? Yeah. It doesn't really work. Hey guys, we are out here in South Africa, specifically just right outside of Hoodsprout in South Africa, and we are heading to a place called the Lion Tree Top Lodge. It's a conservation center where the whole aim of this program of walking these two majestic lions is to educate people about conservation. It's in Africa itself there's this whole plight of lions because lions are very vulnerable here from hunters, from poachers, being in this environment itself. So the owner west of this lodge actually rescued these lions from Saudi Arabia and brought them here and raised them. We get to interact with them and learn more about this program as it is. There they are, they're huge and so adorable. They go on walks twice a day to release all the energy they have up and just 
by being so close to them we can see how playful and full of life they are and in this activity we get to go on a walk with them also kind of looks like me in your room when I try to tickle him <laughs> Come on! to them. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously for the bow down. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Just fall over. <laughs> Who would have thought it's possible to get into this personal zone with these mighty beasts, these two lion nests, and you can tell they're both females because they don't have a mane like a male lion, are just so gorgeous. Their names as we learn are Demi and Tana. Not to worry, we have a guide with us who have helped raise the lions so during the walk we're safe even though we're right beside the lions themselves. It's really fascinating to see them in their natural instincts of how they stalk and chase. From all the time we visited South Africa to even back when I was living in Cape Town, this interaction right here is just truly unique out of everything that I've done here. This country constantly amazes me. They are big. Yeah, too heavy, no. too strong. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, so we checked into our new hotel at the Kruger Proteria. So the Proteria Hotel is by the Marriott brand, and this one is specifically just right outside of Kruger National Park. And I'm gonna show you guys our room. So we're right here. Look at this. It's quite space spacious. I love the seating area here. Well designed bed. Shall we do the bed test? Ready? <gasps> oh, it feels so nice laying down after just, you know when you're in the car for so long on a road trip. Yeah, we're gonna get a good night's sleep tonight. Mm. Just washroom as well with this nice image of Africa. This hotel complex is huge and it's stunning. It reminds me of being out in the cottage in South Africa, except it's raining on our last day in South Africa. So it's quite fitting for the last day because we're, we don't have anything to do aside from just checking out and then going to the airport anyways but ah the complex is so beautiful you can over here it's their own kind of private reserve so I don't know if you can see like an elan right there you can see animals there's their own tennis courts here a little putt putt area but it would have been beautiful to enjoy in the sun and in the dryness, but I'm alright. Because it's raining, so it's still a very beautiful place to wrap up the trip. Nice car, right? So we actually did a lot of damage to our rental. Got for insurance, but we still have to make 
the five hour drive to Johannesburg and as we're driving the car is like beep 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 check tire pressure check tire pressure and when Jeroen went out to check it we have a flat wheel <laughs> flat tire Bing. so now we have to change it and also we have to stop by a police station to get a note because we basically like, completely smashed our bumper. I don't know how to We got once before in Georgia. It was much bigger than it is. But as far as where I learned at least where and how to get things going. Okay, while they fix our tire, I'm going to sign off here because we'll be flying out and starting our new Europe adventures in the next video. So be sure to subscribe, give this video a like and leave a comment below. More cross-continental action to come.